at odds with the World Anti-Doping Agency's less severe code. The ruling means, assuming he reaches the qualifying standard, that Chambers is free to compete at London 2012. It's, it's a sad day for, in my view, the message that should be sent, which is at the Olympic Games above all, let's work towards clean games and send a message to young people who aspire to be part of their teams around the world that everything will be done to root out those who have knowingly cheated through taking drugs. Well, let's talk now to the run of Conrad Williams, one of our best Olympic prospects at 400 metres. Uh, hello to you. Um, a lot of controversy about this over the months and years. Do you think that today's decision puts it to bed? It's all over. Time to move on. Um, well, I do hope so. Um, this decision has been going on for about ten years now. When um, the way it was first um, uh, found out that he was taking drugs in 2002, so hopefully this ruling now and um, people can really just lay it to bed and just hopefully move on and hopefully you know Dwayne can go to the trials and do what he needs to do to make the team first. I know that you've spoken with Dwayne Chambers about this. I think the important thing, presumably, if he is going to represent his country, will he be able to put it behind him? Will he be able to concentrate on the sport itself? How hard has he found these last few months? Um, it's going to be really difficult for Dwayne and any athlete that's going to be uh, competing. It's the hardest event to try and qualify for, and it's, um, he knows what he needs to do. Uh, it's going to be very difficult. It's something that he's probably sleep on um, a number of years now, and I think Dwayne's going to always have this in the back of his mind. But, you know, the main thing is for Dwayne is just to try and qualify first because he hasn't qualified yet and that's the main thing. You just need to, you know, got the season to, um, to try and qualify and run the qualifying time. Until that happened, then we can't really talk about Dwayne being in the Olympics yet. Well, that's the main thing for Dwayne Chambers and I accept that you want the sport to move on. But there is a message here. The British Olympic Association will certainly say that the message that is being sent today to youngsters or anyone thinking about competing for their country is that taking drugs isn't quite as serious as it once was. Um, I mean, the message is still out there as um, young athletes, as you know, Dwayne got caught and that's the main thing. As long as we keep catching the people that take these things, um, you know, the message is out there. Dwayne broke the rule, you know, 2002 and he, you know, he, he paid his price for that. He paid his punishment and he came out and he said he put his hand up and he owned up to it. And, you know, the message is still out there. You have to train really hard, you have to work hard, but I think all the young athletes realise, you know, we have to um, abide by the rules and the rules are there. Dwayne broke them and he got punished for them and now he's just hopefully can get his life back on track. And, you know, all the young kids, we just, you know, we still encourage him. Dwayne is one of the first ones to put his hand up and say, you know, do not take drugs, go down in the clean room. And that's the main story. I would also, you know, back that, say, you know, do it clean and make sure we just have a clean Olympics because there's other countries out there that's letting other athletes um, in the back door right. and we're not really talking about them so Com that's the main thing. Com Com I'm so sorry to cut you off. Thank you very much for your time and we wish you all the best for the game. Thank you. Thank you. No